Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Toronto Pro, all the women's results. This was a huge show. There is no time to waste. Let's just get going. And as a reminder, a big weekend coming up. There are five competitions. Oh my gosh, it's going to be huge. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. Okay, so Toronto Pro, this was a big show. It's tier two, which means the winner qualifies for Olympia, second through fifth receive the points you see there, a lot higher than typical, and then at the end of the qualification period, it's the top three who all get to go to Olympia. So starting with fitness, because we haven't seen fitness in a while, in first place was Stephanie, second Georgia, third Danielle, fourth Abby, and fifth Corina. And what's kind of cool, I always love looking at the scorecards for fitness, is in terms of the physique round, it was Georgia who was in first place and Stephanie in second. However, Stephanie had a killer routine. She pulled in the first place for that. So the totals changed and Stephanie ended up on top in first place. So exciting. Okay, so starting with Karina in fifth place, who you'll remember from last year's Toronto Pro, which actually is part of this qualification period. There's two Toronto Pros in this time frame, which is kind of cool, particularly for the Canadian competitors. So looking at Karina, she looks gorgeous. Beautiful green suit. I love the added volume and curl in her hair. Her makeup looks lovely. Her physique looks amazing. I think her conditioning is even better than it was. Her oblique looks sharper. I think her shoulders look really good. Beautiful detail in her legs. Um, I think she could relax this arm. I, I'm, I probably said it last time too, just to make this a little bit less rounded and a little bit more natural looking. And while I love how beautiful this front leg looks and it does show off a nice curve in her back, it does hide this back leg a lot. And I wouldn't mind seeing more. You can see there's some nice detail in that quad. So maybe just a little bit different posing, but overall I think she looks amazing and it was a fabulous fifth place for her. And there is a quick look at her routine. Okay, next is Abby in fourth, who got second at last year's show. And she looks beautiful as well. Really nice size to her legs. I think her legs have, her, her quads look even rounder and fuller than before. Great lats, nice small waist. She has changed her posing to be a little bit more forward facing, right? You're seeing a bit more of the back shoulder, a little bit more of her belly button, but I still think she is too sideways and I wanna see more of her torso. Um, maybe even if she straightened the front leg and bent the back leg, it would give you a different shape and allow you to kind of just see more of her silhouette. But um, I think she's got a lot of beautiful muscle, nice shape. More conditioning for sure would be good, particularly when you see her in the lineup. But she, looks, she does look very beautiful. Nice suit, nice long dark hair. Fabulous. And there's a quick look at her routine. Okay, Danielle in third. Oh man, I love her short hair. It looks so good on her. So beautiful. She's got such a gorgeous face and her hair is so complimentary to her features. I love it. Her posing looks beautiful. I like how she switched up her feet so that the front leg is straight and the back leg is bent. I think it really shows off that glute and it shows off the detail in her quad. Her hamstring looks so round and full. I love all of this definition in her hip. Her waist is so small. She's got a fabulous oblique, really nice curve to her back and her um lats like she just looks amazing super broad shoulders I love it I, I again think that she could have even more conditioning to show off a little bit more detail you know like a little bit of separation maybe that teardrop shape by her kneecap that sort of a thing a little a little cap to the delt just a little one you know but overall I think she looks absolutely phenomenal and I love her whole presentation and there is a look at her routine <clears throat> All right, now second place is Georgia. Remember, Georgia had first place in the physique round, so she is extremely impressive. I think she's got a lot of size. She's got a lot of muscle. Her legs are very full. Her upper body is super muscular. Look at, the, look at those lats. Really nice, beautiful shape. 
great delts. I love how much muscle she has in her arms. I think her arms look super full, nice curvy lines, just gorgeous. She's posing really nicely to show off the curve of her back, curve of her glute, beautiful definition in her hip. Again, I feel like this pose kind of hides that back leg, but I mean, it is just one pose. It's one photo. Uh, her abs look really good. The suit is striking. I think she looks beautiful. Maybe a little bit brighter or darker, bolder of a lip. That's kind of my only suggestion. Um, and then I also was thinking too that this arm perhaps could put be a little less curved and just a little bit more down. I don't know that it needs to be so curved to show off the lat because I think the lat is amazing as it is. So a fabulous second place for Georgia. There's a look at her routine. And now in first place is Stephanie. Oh, she looks amazing. I first of all love her hair and her makeup, the best yet. Um, second of all, her posing looks Fabulous. I know I've commented before that I don't want her hand to hide her glute. And I have never seen anybody do it like this. I've seen the hand on the hip in a fist, but I've never seen the hand open like this. And I actually kind of like it. I think it really is highlighting her glute. It's like, here's my beautiful glute, right? Like, it looks amazing. And now her glutes are fabulous fabulous. Her detail is um, just awesome. You've got the line in the glute. You've got the line su uh, surrounding the quad. Her hamstrings look amazing. Like her lower body is phenomenal. And then her midsection looks beautiful. Her curve looks awesome. Such a beautiful shape. Like I love it. I think she looks fantastic. Great overall package, great posing, great definition. And there's a quick look at her routine, which obviously was very good. Pushed her into first place. Okay, so here's everybody side by side. And I think it's clear that Georgia has the most amazing V-taper. You really notice her shoulders. You notice her tiny waist. Nobody even holds a candle to her. And you also notice her definition. I think her legs look phenomenal. When you look at the lineup, she really stands out. And from behind again, and just a quick notice here, Stephanie and Corinna have changed spots since the last picture. Um, Georgia, I still think, really stands out. She's got an amazing V-taper. She's got really broad, open shoulders. So she's just so wide up top, and it comes in so small. Uh, I think Stephanie has some really fabulous glutes, but Georgia's shape is just really quite exceptional. It's so pinched in, really nice balance with top to bottom. So a fabulous fitness lineup. In terms of Olympia, Stephanie is qualified. Georgia gets eight more points. Daniela gets seven. Abby gets six. And Corinna gets five more. Okay, moving on to women's bodybuilding. Four competitors, so they all get to earn some points towards Olympia. First place, Lisa. Second, Michelle. Third, Michelle. And fourth, Gisela. So Gisela in fourth place in a vibrant purple suit. Oh, I think it looks so good with the color of her tan and the dark hair. She's got some fabulous size, really full, big muscular legs. I think her arms look super full and very, very well developed. She's got some great curves, nice pop to the bicep. However, she does not have enough conditioning to show off the detail. I want her midsection to look smaller. I want her legs to have more lines. I want more detail in veins and vascularity and striations. This is women's bodybuilding. I want crazy. So just a little bit more conditioning. Um, and I also felt that her uh, foundation on her face was not quite dark enough compared to the tan. So a little bit more work to do, but I still think she's got a beautiful shape and it was still a good fourth place for her. Okay, Michelle in third. Now there's some beautiful conditioning. You've got feathering in her quads. You've got all kinds of lines. Her biceps are like popping right out of her arms. She looks fabulous. I think the dark suit is really rich and luxurious. It's got that beautiful sheen. She looks really good. Um, I do think that the tan could be a little darker. It's kind of splotchy a bit, or maybe it's just she's got lots of veins showing. But I do think a, a darker and maybe a bit of shine and sheen 
gloss would help to make those muscles really pop. Um, and I wouldn't mind if I could see a little bit more ab. I know that that is extremely difficult, but she's got so much beautiful definition in the legs. I wish I could see a bit more of a six pack. But overall, I think she's got a great shape, beautiful V taper, and it was a great third place for her. Okay, next in second place is Michelle. Another top five finish for her. And she's just gorgeous. She's got such a beautiful package. Really condensed, really full, big round legs with those gorgeous curved quads. Um, beautiful definition down by her knees. A nice trim waistline and very nice balance with the lats and her arms. I think she's got some nice proportions in the upper body, but also nice proportions between top and bottom. However, I still think that she could have more conditioning. I want the lines to go like all the way up into her, the top part of her legs. Um, and I do think that she could have a bit more shoulder, even though she looks really beautiful in her own frame. When I compare her in the lineup against our first place winner, I still think she could have more shoulder, but I love the suit. I love the color of her lipstick. She nailed it. I think she looks really beautiful. Okay. First place. Lisa, she did it. She's going to Olympia and she looks awesome. I think she's posing in a way that makes her waist look really small. Her abs have nice definition. Her upper body is fantastic. This lat is crazy big. She's got great big shoulders, really nice curves in her arms. Um, she's got some beautiful size in her legs. Now, in terms of conditioning, I don't think she's as detailed as she was at the Indy. I think you saw a lot more detail in her quads, you know, even in her oblique, maybe a little bit more. I think her arms had a bit more detail. Perhaps it's just what was picked up for in the photograph and, but, but yeah, you know, I think she could have had even more conditioning. However, obviously it didn't hurt her in any way because she still landed in first place. So clearly her beautiful shape and her beautiful size was more than enough to give her a fabulous victory. So look at everybody side by side, Lisa, for sure. Those shoulders are next level. Her V taper is amazing. Her abs are so well defined right from under her ribs down to the top of her suit. Like she has got some great definition in her abs and her legs. The sweep is beautiful. Um, I think Michelle has a really nice shape as well, but I do think that she's posing with her legs too wide and maybe even too bent. And I like how Lisa creates the X frame without having to really manipulate how she's standing. She's just standing, posing, and she's got it. So Overall, though, I think this was a very beautiful set of women, and Lisa did amazing. From behind, wow. Again, those shoulders on Lisa are stand out. They come so high off her body. She's got amazing lats, nice small waist, and beautiful curve to her legs. I'm actually really loving Michelle's glutes. I think she's got fabulous striations. She looks hard. She looks solid. I love how sharply defined they are, but I do think that she's bending too much at her knees. And I, I just like the way how Lisa is really upright and you really notice that beautiful V taper. Um, but man, it was fabulous. Okay. In terms of Olympia, Lisa is qualified. Michelle gets eight more points. Michelle gets seven and Gisela gets six. Okay, pro figure. Here we go. In first place, Han Wool. Second, Mandy. Third, Valerie. Fourth, Yelena. And fifth, Melissa. Okay, Melissa in fifth looks absolutely stunningly beautiful. The suit is gorgeous. Her long, sleek, dark black hair is just amazing. I love it. It looks so good. I think her tan is rich and beautiful. Her posing is lovely. Like, I think she's just awesome. I love the detail in her shoulders. You've got beautiful striations. You've got great definition, um, really nice lats, nice trim waist, and a gorgeous curve to her legs. Um, I do think she could have even more size in her quads to balance with those amazing lats. Like, the lats and shoulders are so round and so full that I think for sure she could have a bit more. And 
I think even a tiny bit more definition coming up into the thighs would be nice too. It's there. It's just I want it even more pronounced. Um, but that's kind of minuscule. I think she looks really good. I'm super impressed and I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out for her because I think she looks amazing. Okay, Yelena in fourth place. We saw her recently at the New York Pro, so another top finish for her. I think she looks even better. The conditioning is crazy. You have so much detail from the kneecap all the way up to her thighs, uh, to her hips, really, all the way up to her suit. Crazy. She's got nice six-pack definition. Her lats come out so far. Her shoulders are wild lines, detail, man, the delts are just fantastic. I do notice a slight, um, I guess, angle here. This shoulder seems lower than this one, and even this hand seems out. And when I look at the New York, it's not as noticeable, but it is still there maybe a little bit that the hands are not quite level. And maybe that would help simply by leveling the hands. It would make the shoulder this shoulder come down a little bit. Um, I think she looks amazing. I do think she could have even more sweep to her quads. Uh, perhaps she could even just turn out her feet a bit more to, to really balance with the lats. But conditioning is amazing and her overall silhouette looks fantastic. And of course, a beautiful suit, great makeup. She looks gorgeous. Okay, Valerie in third. Wow, her V-taper is really impressive. She's got Bolder shoulders. They're so big. They're so round and full. The lats are amazing. Her waist is tiny, super flat stomach. There's not an ounce of anything in there. She is so flat and tight and smooth. Looks just gorgeous. Beautiful sweep to her quads. And I like all of this detail, all this 3D quality. However, I still think the definition could be more. I think we could have more of a six-pack showing. I think you could have a little bit more deep grooves in the legs. And I also feel like she could have a little bit more shapeliness to her calves. Perhaps simply by putting a bit of space between her toes would allow us to see the shape a little bit better. So a little bit more uh, conditioning, and I think she would be just on fire. I love her shape. I love her silhouette. The suit is striking. The white lines are incredible. So I think she looks amazing. Okay, Mandy in second place. I didn't even recognize her. She changed her hair and it's like amazing. She looks so sophisticated and like luxurious. I think she looks amazing. The suit is gorgeous. Her makeup is fabulous. She looks so confident. She looks poised. I love it. I think she looks amazing. This was a fantastic second place for her. I love the uh, the changes she's done to the posing. So starting from the bottom, you can see there is a space between her calves. So you really notice the beautiful shapeliness there. There's more space between her knees. It's allowing you to really see the definition in her legs all the way up. Man, what an improvement from Titans. I think her lower body looks amazing. She still has those fabulous abs, tiny, nice, trim stomach, small waist, beautiful lats and shoulders. She's changed a little bit the way she holds her arms, so you're really noticing the V-taper. Like, man, talk about improvements. She looks amazing. Her shoulders look fabulous. I love everything. I cannot gush enough. She looks amazing. A fantastic second place. All right, and now in first place, Hanwell. Oh, man, okay. The suit is glorious. It is so eye-catching. You just notice her from across the room in the photos. Second of all, her conditioning is amazing. So much detail in her legs. It's not overboard. It's not like feathering and striations and craziness, but you see every little, <laughs> every big muscle in her quad right from the kneecap up to her hips. You've got six pack. You've got a fabulous shape to her shoulders. I think her shoulders are just sensational. Like they come up, they come down across her neck and then a back up again. It's crazy. Her V taper is amazing. She really stands out in the lineup. Beautiful legs, beautiful calves, beautiful conditioning, beautiful suit, gorgeous dark hair. I love it. She looks so good. Okay, here's the lineup. 
you cannot help but look at Hanwol in first place. Her V taper is nuts. Her waist is so small. The shoulders really stand out. Her posing is fantastic and her conditioning is amazing. She's got a really nice, beautiful sweep to her legs, the tiny waist, and then right back out. So she's got this X shape. I think she just nailed it. Mandy beside her looks beautiful as well, as does Yelena beside her, but her Hanwell's waist is so small, it makes her V-taper crazy. And from behind, she also has amazing three-dimensional muscles in her back. Like you're really noticing all of the lines coming all the way down. Ugh, it just looks so good. Her glutes are so sharp and tight. She's got glorious definition into to the hamstrings. Her calves look amazing. I think Mandy could have even more calf compared to Hanwell in first place. So she just really looks fab fabulous. I thought it was a great first place for her. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Hanwell is qualified. Mandy has eight more points. Yelena has six more. Valerie has seven and Melissa has five. Okay, pro bikini time. In first place, Ashley. Second, Ha Yun, third Ellie, fourth Mary Eve, and fifth Jody. Okay, Jody in fifth place looks awesome. We just saw her not long ago at the California United Champions. Another top five finish for her. She looks beautiful. She switched the suit to red. It looks great with the background of this show. I love that she's got more volume in her hair. Her makeup is perfect. But what I really love the most is her glute. I don't know what she did in between shows, but somehow you're just noticing so much this line here. The curve is amazing. Such a beautiful shape, and she's got great definition in her quads. I think her legs look amazing. Nice small waist. It, ugh, beautiful hourglass shape. She looks awesome, but man, it's that glute for me. So good. Okay, next, Mary Eve in fourth. Wow, she's tall, she's long, she's gorgeously lean. She's got great obliques, beautiful shape to her glute as well. I really like the shape to her hamstring, nice definition. You've got the groove, you've got a, the line coming down. I love the definition in her side here. She just looks awesome. I do think she could have a little bit more shape to the back shoulder and certainly a little bit more in the bicep and tricep. But I love her dark purple suit. The hair is beautiful. Her posing looks nice. She could maybe um, pull this foot a little bit in. I think it would show off the quad a bit more of this back leg. But man, she looks beautiful. A fabulous fourth place. Wow. Okay, Ellie in third, another top five finish. I love the way the lighting is making her makeup look. She looks so beautiful. Um, her definition is awesome. She's got so much detail in this front leg. Like the line is crazy. Too crazy, perhaps? I always wonder if Ellie has too much hardness sometimes, but I personally love it. I just don't know if the judges want that for the... Um, bikini division however her back leg looks like perfectly beautiful and some softness so maybe it's just the way that she stands she really knows how to pop out this quad and the glute because man it looks so good she's got beautiful calves her hourglass is awesome her obliques are just so sharp like she's amazing she's hard she's conditioned she's still feminine and beautiful and gorgeous hair love it i love seeing her in the top five Okay, next is Ha Yun in second place. We saw her win the Asia Grand Prix. She's switched up the suit. It looks really nice in front of this red background. Um, man, she looks beautiful. Very exaggerated and crazy hourglass shape. Her lats are amazing. Her shoulder to the lat is so good. Such a curve. She's got a tiny waist, my gosh, so flat, and her glute comes out and beautiful detail in her leg. Um, man, I, I think she's got great arms. I love the detail in the shoulders. She's got some nice curve to her bicep and her triceps. She's got nice detail in this back leg, but I do think she could have it even more in this front quad. Um, 
that's kind of it. I think she's like near perfection. She's so beautiful. Her posing is lovely. She could maybe have a bigger smile and um, that might make her face a little brighter and a little more eye-catching in that regard. But man, her physique is crazy good. Okay. No shocker here. Ashley in first place. It's another top five finish. These pictures are too small for me to even comment on. But you get an idea of how glorious Ashley is. How consistent she is. Uh, her posing is amazing. Her suit colors changing all the time now. I love it. I love seeing her experiment. She looks beautiful. Now looking a little closer. I love the definition in her leg. I think her abs look amazing as they always do. Um, she's got this fabulous hourglass shape. Her glute is so high and it just sticks out so far. But also she's got a really nice shape to her legs. And I think that's very important. It's not just the glutes, right? It's the whole thing. And she really looks beautiful. And actually, I noticed if I go backwards, I noticed that her confidence is really showing at this show even compared to the picture beside her at the Pittsburgh I think she's holding herself so beautifully she looks like she knows she's gonna win this show whether she actually did know I don't know I doubt it but she looks like she cannot be beaten and I love it so a beautiful first place for Ashley Okay, everybody side by side. Honestly, I'm drawn to first place and second place, and I think it's the hourglass. You notice the lats, you notice those shoulders, the tiny waist, and the glutes. Beautiful hamstrings on both of our ladies here, but man, Ashley's glute really looks good, but so does Haiyun's. So from the front, I think they both look really fantastic. Now, from behind, I think Ashley takes it here. She's got really good shape in her legs. You've got a gorgeous amount of curve to the outside and the inside. And I think that's where our second place winner is maybe could have a little bit more shape to her quads. Um, she's got fabulous glute ham tie-ins, but so does everybody. The whole lineup does. Um, but Ashley also, you really notice her hourglass shape. And I think her hair plays a huge part of that. It's cut so strategically to show off the perfect amount of waist, the perfect amount of shoulder. She looks fabulous. Um, I'm also noticing Ellie's shoulders here. Looks really, really good. Okay, in terms of Olympia. Ashley was already qualified. Hyun was already qualified. Ellie was already qualified. Marie Eve gets six points and Jody gets five more. Okay, pro women's physique. Here we go. In first place, Ji Hai. Second, Amelia. Third, Eleonora. Fourth, Jody. And fifth, Jasmine. So, Jasmine in fifth place has some fabulous quads. I love the detail. I love the teardrop shape that's really popping out. Um, her sweep is crazy good. She's got some crazy popping biceps too, and her lats are awesome. Uh, I do think the tan is a little too dark, honestly. I'm, I, I can't really see the definition in her abs. Um, and that's maybe another thing, a little bit more ab. <laughs> it would, would really throw it over the top for me. But I think she's got a great shape. I love her lats. Her suit is striking. She looks awesome. Just a little too dark. And I want more detail. Okay, Jody in fourth place. Now there's a little bit more detail popping through, right? You really see all of the lines in her legs. You've got some fabulous detail coming through in her abs. Her abs look so flat. She also has incredible lats. I love the mass in her arms, like crazy big shape. Um, the headband is a beautiful touch. A nice little bit of personality in there. Great silhouette. Like I think she looks awesome. She nailed the conditioning and she's got a fabulous shape. And her town looks perfect. So she did awesome. Okay, Eleonora in third. Talk about a tiny waist. Good grief. She is so slight in the midsection. The X shape is wild, just unreal. She's so narrow. And then she's got gorgeous, very large round legs, great balance with her upper body. I think she's got some fabulous lats as well. Um, 
Honestly, the only thing I could think of in the lineup, I thought she could have a little bit more conditioning in the legs just to compare to some of the other girls. I think there's a little bit more could show through, even with a bit of striations, perhaps. Um, And the other thing is, I think she could have a bit more volume to her hair just for more balance between the upper body and lower body. I think it would help. But I love how much we get to see her beautiful face, her beautiful smile. And man, I'm so impressed with her tiny waist. Okay, Amelia in second. Wow, crazy abs. They look so sharp, so pronounced. And her conditioning in her legs is amazing. Even better than the Van Isle. Like, check out all of this feathering here. You didn't get to see that. Ah, I love it. She looks awesome. Love this posing. I think it's just showing off how beautifully developed her leg is. Man, the the conditioning is so good. Uh, She's got great lats as well beautiful biceps maybe a little more by bi- uh, shoulder would be nice just a little bit more size to the delts but the shape is beautiful um and again i love the posing so i think she looks awesome but the conditioning is perfection okay jihai in first place wow she looks good first of all her tan her makeup fabulous um her legs look awesome she's got great size beautiful sweep I love the amount of mass she has on the inside of her leg oh that looks so good Uh, she also has a great shape up above beautiful detail in her arms I I still think she could have more shoulder as well and even more definition in her abs so we'll have to take a look at the lineup photo to to really piece out her first place but looking at her just on her own I think she looks really good a great x shape beautiful small waist gorgeous okay this was the best picture I could find of everybody standing side by side I really noticed Amelia's abs but I also really noticed Jihai's legs I think her back leg here looks insane crazy shape crazy conditioning and she also has some really nice size in her arms same with Amelia I think Amelia did really well But now from behind, this is where I think Jihai really stole the show. Her glutes are out of this world. They are so cool. The shape, the detail, the conditioning, the striations, they're sharp. They're they're just on another level. I cannot get over her glutes. You could... You could take them right off of her body. They are a distinct shape and I love it. She looks unreal. The back of her legs look amazing as well. She's got fabulous sweep to her quads. Her hamstrings are so detailed and beautiful tiny waist. And look at all of this detail all the way from her lats to her elbows. Like she just looks amazing. I think from behind she steals the show. Okay. So in terms of Olympia, Jihai is now qualified. Amelia has eight points. Eleanor, eight more points, excuse me. Eleonora has seven, Jody has six, and Jasmine has five. Okay, wellness, here we go. In first place, Cassandra, second, Emily, third, Anne Marie, fourth, Daniela, and fifth, Nor Marie. So here's Nor Marie in fifth place, and I am loving her lower body in particular. Her glute is amazing, and she's got this fabulous line coming all the way down, outlining the quad. Detail by the knee, detail here in the top of the quad on the back leg, glorious hamstrings. Man, her her lower body is awesome. Great oblique, nice delts. I think her shoulders look awesome. My only critique really is the posing. I think she could level out those shoulders, pull up the chest, open up, twist the ribs, and just show off a little bit more of that upper body. I feel she looks a little bit crunched right now. Even her choice of shoes, I think she could go for a higher shoe and it would just make her look longer, taller, leaner. That's it. So just some tweaks and posing. I think she looks amazing. Okay, Daniela in fourth place. Wow, there's another beautiful glute. What a gorgeous shape. I love how it connects to her hamstring. You've got this glorious dip here. Awesome. Great detail coming up the quad. Nice detail in the back leg too. Beautiful abs, really sharp oblique. Nice lat. Look at that curve. 
really great. Um, I think the hair is covering up too much of her delts. I wouldn't mind if they were a little bigger, a little rounder, a little bit more definition even. Um, and I also feel that this back leg is too close. I want to see a little bit more. Um, this quad is covering up too much. I want to see more of her back leg. Um, but man, I think she looks beautiful. And that blue suit is striking with her dark hair. So a great fourth place, gorgeous physique. Okay, Anne-Marie in third place. Another amazing glute. Holy smokes. Great hamstring, too. She really is popping it out in the way that she's posing. Uh, great detail here in her side. Nice delts. I love her dark suit. It's very rich. It looks very luxurious. But again, I'm not crazy about the posing. I think she's too sideways and we're not seeing enough of this back shoulder and also too much of this leg is hidden. So I, I realize it's just a photo. It's just one little snapshot in time. But I do wish that we could have her open up a little bit more, open up the chest, open up the shoulders, really show off that upper body development to match the amazing lower body. Her glutes are sensational. Okay, next is Emily in second place, who we saw last year's Toronto Pro get a third place, so she is doing amazing. I couldn't find uh, the same pose in the photos, but I'm loving this front pose. She looks just beautiful. I love that you get to see both of her shoulders. Her arms look amazing. Her abs are so flat and smooth. Her waist looks small. Her quads look awesome. I love the detail by her knees. I love this detail here. Like, she looks fabulous. Her suit is unreal. The color is so unique. It is glorious against the red behind her. What a great choice. Um, I also think her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. She's just, she just looks gorgeous. I, I really like her whole package. I do think that perhaps she could stand a little bit more sideways. Even, I know it's a front pose, but just so that we could see the hourglass shape come in a little bit more um, to, to show a bit more of the glute from the side, if that's possible in any way. Um, but overall, I'm super impressed. I think she looks amazing. She looks even better than she did last year, and I cannot wait to see more of Emily. Okay, and now in first place, Cassandra. She does it again. And you know, the biggest thing I noticed with Cassandra is how beautiful her posing is becoming. When you compare her now to that first photo on the left at the San Antonio, it's like night and day. She looks so professional. Her conditioning is amazing. The line down her leg, the detail, and like not only the detail, but look at the shape in her quad. Like that's crazy. Her abs look awesome, the oblique, the lat. I still wish that the shoulder was being held up a little higher. I, I feel like the arm is pulling her clavicle down, but she's, she still looks amazing. She's opening it up. I think her chest is open. Her upper body is becoming more open than it ever has been, so I love it. And then her hair is perfect. It's face framing. She's just gorgeous. Beautiful conditioning, beautiful size, great shape, and great posing. Okay, everybody side by side. Man, check out these glutes. Like Anne-Marie's glutes are wild. Look at the groove. That's crazy. Um, what I like about Cassandra, though, is the balance. She really has a nice hourglass shape. She's got crazy big legs, but she also has these, has these really nice wide shoulders to match. Tiny waist in between. She looks fantastic. I think both our fifth place and our second place winners could have a bit more size in their upper bodies when you compare everybody side by side. But I'm loving Emily's tiny waist. Um, Daniela has a great glute. And again, Norma Marie's line down her leg looks fantastic. So, wow. From behind, I'm actually drawn to Emily from behind. I think she's got a great sweep to her quads, really nice shape in her lower body, and great definition in her glutes. However, I think Cassandra really shows off that hourglass shape the best. You're really noticing how wide and broad her shoulders are. The delts look so beautifully rounded. Her waist look, looks so tiny, and then a great round shape. So, Everybody side by side, I'm noticing the hourglass the most on Cassandra. Um, the other point that I could make, I think Daniela is bending over just a little bit too much. 
Otherwise, I think everybody looked amazing. Some fabulous glute hem tie-ins, great shape in the glutes. Wow. What a show. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Cassandra was already qualified. Emily gets eight more points. Anne-Marie has seven. Daniela has six. And Norma Marie has five. Okay, don't forget, we've got five shows coming up this weekend. Oh my gosh. And I will be back with recaps of all of those shows as soon as I can. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss them. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below what you thought about this amazing Toronto Pro Show. And come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.